It's the NBA Live on 2K. Release payout. Sports on this Tuesday afternoon. It's Phoenix and Chicago. It's been a nice playing game, huh? And in Chicago to start out, we've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They've got Brandon Knight. Morris is out there with Chandler. Then it's Pete. After the made shot from Sean Kemp. Back to Morris. Morris is once night. Fires. Rebound by Deflects the pass. And that's out of Chicago will retain possession. And you know what? Just a little that pass for him to come up with the steal. I mean, that was going to be a tough catch for either. Wade against Knight. Wade left. And it's Phoenix rebound. Tucker the pass to Knight. And Bledso, here we go. Yes. The assist that time. Not phased at all. By having a bigger defender on him down low, and I really would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't. He'd be comfortable in that particular situation. Well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of element at all right there. Here's Carter Williams after Eric Bloodsoe's score. Him. And he converts the layup. He's starting to get what he wants here early. It's a nice move. Phoenix. And the dunk. How about the excitement right now that he's came with? I love it. He can't bet with some serious time on the rim. I tell you what, he just couldn't contain himself on that one. What a pass by Carter Williams right there. Chicago shooting their first foul shot of the game. That one misses for Kemp. Chicago on defense. Kicks it to Tucker. Back off the glass. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Ludzo against Carter Williams. Dishes it to Wade. No good from outside. That's a shot you've got to take if you're looking for the three-pointer. I mean, the defense was nowhere around. 
Knight kicks to Bledsoe. And the wide open shot for Morris. And he misses the go-ahead basket. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. There's Noel. Comes up empty down low. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Pass to Chandler. Puts up the baby hook. And that one goes long. Wade kicks to Parker. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. For Chicago, they have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. Shooting two, shooting two. <laughs> First free throw is good. Parker drops them both. Bledsoe with it. Morris outside. To the inside. Tucker. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Carter Williams. And Chandler sends it back. Ludzo against Parker. Now here's Bledso. Knight on the wing. Five to shoot. Back to Bledso. But Trey, that's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. It's really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 to start? Yeah, he's setting himself up to be their go-to guy today. Morris, left side, jacks up a three, but they'll get another chance. Outside night. And the wide-open shot from Bledsoe. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got three assists now in this one. So at Chicago now, trailing by five. Here's Carter Williams, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. And, and really, he epitomizes what a point guard should be. I mean, his skills as a passer might actually be matched by that creativity he shows around the rim. Well, judging by that jam, Greg, I'd say you're absolutely right. Boy, that's a nice surge for them just when they needed it in a game that was so tight. 135 left in the first quarter, and the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. Man, that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. And Phoenix making a change here. Lens checked in for Chandler. Lure comes in for Morris. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And Sonny Weems subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. Now here's Kemp. He's got eight. Let's it go from 11. Lynn with the block. Knight against Carter Williams. Outside Knight. Here's the screen. 
can't convert after the good screen. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. And the foul called on Nerland's Noel. Bonnie Price has checked in for night. <laughs> Screen on Carter Williams. Kemp with the steal. And now in transition is Parker. Here we go. And the basket by Wade. That is such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal. To get it all started. And it's one thing to get the steal, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity, even better. Now here's Price. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Drummond's checked in for Noel. Chicago trails by three. Here's Carter Williams. He feeds it to Kemp. Price with the steal. And here we go. For the finish and the jam by Sonny Ween. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And Greg, I love the fact he's always in control even though he's going at breakneck speed. He still maintains his body control. about ready to get underway and from what we've seen guys from Phoenix what do you guys see it's been about the pace you can see they're going to try to keep this game in the open floor yeah and you know it's been a tempo that they like and they're getting some easy buckets in transition here Iverson is out there with Dwayne Wade then it's Will Barton then there's Sean Kemp and it's Drummond in at the five roaming the paint so that's the five in the game for Chicago Let's it go from 11 and misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, I like his determination and his attitude and aggressiveness, but the defense wasn't going to back off that shot. They were tight on it. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And the pass to Toledovich. No good on the triple. Chicago trails by five to the inside. Got a piece of it. And here's Price. The dish to land. Inside. Wade gets the bucket. Wade's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for Chicago. And really, once he got that steal, just really nothing the defense could do. That's why turnovers are so costly, because in many cases, they're indefensible once possession changes hands. Here's Tucker. No luck. And it's Chicago the other way. Kemp kicks to Iverson. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through here. And first timeout of the game called for Phoenix. making a switch here. Noel's checked in. And then for Phoenix, Tyson Chandler. He's checked in for Alex Lynn. 
Knight comes in for Sonny Weems, and it's Eric Bledsoe in for Price. Toledovich dishes to Chandler, uses both hands to slam it down. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely <laughs> threw that one down. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. Well, I like the way they're sharing the ball and Bledsoe right in the middle of spreading it around. Chicago trails by three. The drive by Iverson. Off on the layup. So it's Phoenix now. Ludzo passes tonight. Kemp against Ludzo. Pass to Toledovic. Releases. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Toledovic has got the lead up to five now for Phoenix. Iverson against Bloodso. Stolen by Bloodso. And the rejection by Noel. Allen Iverson on the way. Guarded by Tucker. Here's Kemp. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Just a, an amazing game for Sean Kemp. He's got ten points. And he's come away with two steals as well. He's blown up some plays out there. And it also shows you the importance of intelligence as a defender because he has been a nightmare on the ball. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Parker's checked in for Barton. Reggie Jackson comes in for Dwayne Wade. And Michael Carter-Williams subbed in for Iverson. And Phoenix also making a switch. Morris is checked in for Mirza Toledovic. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Here's Parker. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Now here's Bledsoe. Ten points for him. Morris with the bucket. He has such a nice touch for a big man. Yeah, and they've got to figure out a way to get a bigger body on him because if they don't... Oh! Talk about momentum. That sort of action delivers a type of energy to your team that you just can't quantify. I, you know what? I'm going to quantify it right now, Clark. <laughs> and this is a close game, and that was something special. It, it really is. In, in, in a game, <laughs> you guys, in a game like this, though, when you have a chance to send a message, you do. And, and boy, did he ever on that play. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Kemp kicks to Parker, feeds it to Noel. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Jackson lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Jackson's got his first two points. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Phoenix. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy points. You know, it also hasn't taken them long to make their mark in the paint. I mean, they're doing a lot of their scoring from in there. Chicago making a switch here. Hooker's checked in. Phoenix also making some changes. Lures checked in for Chandler. And Warren subbed in for P.J. Tucker. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Here's Carter Williams. It's good. The assist this time for two. Eight points for Michael oh, Carter Williams. Oh. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Chicago leading. Guys, this offense very effective. Point right at them. And guys, the defense has been no match. They just picked them apart. That's good. That's like uh, he's he's way. That's in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. And it's Phoenix's ball. Three seconds between shot and game clock. 
Morris with a screen on Jackson. Knight kicks to Lewis from 13. Good on the jump shot. And Chicago has possession. I'd like to see him use a little clock here. I agree with you. Milk the clock with this position. Okay. That's what they've got to be doing. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that hole in the deep and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. It's Chicago leading by three. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter now. A fantastic game from Sean Kemp in this one. Always been a dynamic score, and, and we saw in that first half the entire repertoire on display. Yeah, he's a hard man to keep down, and so far they haven't found the answer for him. I don't know if there is an answer for him, quite honestly. Phoenix trails by three and on the floor for Jeff Hornacek starting the second half. E.J. Tucker is out there with Markeith Morris. Then there's Brandon Knight and it's Chandler and it's Bledsoe in at the point. Bledsoe against Wade and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. For Chicago, they have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Sean Kemp, he's checked in for Chicago. And so he hits both. So it's Phoenix now. It's a five-point game. They set the pick. And here's Morris for three. Rebound by Parker. Here's Chicago. Inside runner. Bank shot. No good. Now Tucker. Seven points in the game. Shot from 12. Phoenix, no good that time either. In a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's Boston. Here's Carter Williams, stolen oh, by Bledsoe. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Knight's running. Oh, it's blocked. You know, sometimes Reds can do more harm than good. It certainly looks that way for them. They've been cold coming out and have yet to find the bottom of the net. A shot by Wade, no good. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. And the rejection by Noel. Ooh, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. Chandler dishes tonight. Bloodflow outside. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got five assists in the game. 
And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. And, Greg, you know how it is. Sometimes it only takes one or two baskets to get things going. Maybe we're getting ready to pump a little life into this one. No way to mess that one up, Kevin. I mean, he powered it down with both hands. Not this guy. He is a superb finisher. And when he gets near the hoop, guys, he is a tour de force. You got to like what Sean Kemp has done in this game. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they got to figure out how to contain him. Phoenix calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, I can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Iverson's checked in for Carter Williams. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Lenz checked in for Chandler. Mirza Toledovic comes in for Markeith Morris. Sonny Weems checks in for Brandon Knight. And it's Price in for Eric Bledsoe. Price with the ball. Len with a screen on Iverson. Price the pass to Len. Second shot opportunity. Here's Toledovic. Phoenix, no good that time either. The clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. The drive by Iverson. That yeah. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, they're losing the battle in the paint. For Chicago, they have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Price outside. Releases. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Noel's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Wade kicks to Iverson. From 12 feet out. And it's Chicago scoring again. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I got a fresh new That's joystick. Yep, job I bought a new joystick right for all that stopping and that bullshit. Here's Tucker. Yeah. That's it coming off an assist from Price. None of that no more. Tucker's got 10 points. That shot becomes effortless for him when What's the up? D is so relaxed. They got to get more intense. Wade dishes to Noel. Here's Kemp. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Price the pass to Tucker. Another three for Phoenix. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Here's Look at Kemp. Look at Kemp. On the way He's got 16. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until the defense puts up a little more resistance, they ought to continue to pound them down low. Price, right side, and Zoletovich kicks it to Tucker. Six on the shot clock, and the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's foul number two for him. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick uh, as players are basketball. at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Booker, he's checked in for Chicago. Phoenix also making some changes. Moore oh, comes in for Mirza Tillich. And it's T.J. Warren in for P.J. Tucker. Miss something. Oh, he's going to be perfect, huh? No name ass nigga, huh? You have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. Last one's off, and they'll settle for two points. Chicago leading by three. Yeah, that bullshit. Phoenix will take possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the third. There's a good screen. Price dishes to Lure. Here's Weems. Phoenix no good that time either. Wade passes to Parker. Oh, look at that. Okay. 
tough D on the inside. It sure was, Greg. No easy access to the basket. Wow. That fellas in the middle. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. And it's a big key thus far in this game, Clark, because whenever they've gotten the ball in the paint, good things have happened. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. This game has been a battle, and, and maybe they're starting to just run out of gas a little bit. Here's Lamb, and a foul caught on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you. Look at these niggas. They're making throws and shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Some changes for Chicago. No name ass niggas, man. And I ain't got no win in this world. How did you look at my team, man? So comes in for Ronnie Price. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one hand jam. Nice, nice way there, guys, to finish up that possession. Knight wide open. Phoenix, no good that time either. And he's really having all sorts of problems with his jumper right now. Yeah, big time. Wow. I mean, the words that come to mind, ice and cold and disappearing stroke, all with a fly. Watch you hit it. Again, the miss by night. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can cut that lead down. Just the height separation on that mid-range jumper. Excellent job of taking it down. Give us. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Chicago leads by three. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. Oh. They've got Dwayne Wade. Andre Drummond is out there at Lewis, and there's Hill, and it's Carter Williams in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Chicago. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. You know, they've also been very good from the free throw line. I mean, that's been a very important part of what they've done today. Bledsoe kicks to Morris. He dishes it tonight. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Ludzo for three. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got six assists now in the game. Now, here's Wade. Passes it to Hill. They set the pick. Here's Drummond. And he gets it to go. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. Ludzo against Carter Williams. And there's the feed tonight. And there's the call on Chandler. That's his third foul of the game. Chicago making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. Chicago leading by four. Played outside. Oh! With the defensive effort, Wade's gone two for seven from the field. Wadzo dishes to Knight. Chandler trying to free himself up. Again, the miss by Knight. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Loose D here. Critical stretch. I mean, you better off sending him to the free throw lines than to have him get that good a look. Out to Wade. Dishes it to Carter Williams. 
Chandler against Jackson. And Chandler sends it back. Jackson against Knight. Over to the wing. Morris outside to take the lead. They grab their own miss. Ludzo for three. Kicks to Morris. Pass to Tucker. Krills the three-pointer. Tucker's got nine points now in just the second half. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Not sure if it's been by design or simply by accident, but either way, it has been impressive. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure, but that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Sean Kemp, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. And Noel subbed in for Dwayne Wade. Phoenix calls timeout. sideline with Doris Burke. Thank you guys. I had a chance to find out what Jeff Hornacek was discussing with his players. It's been a hard fought game and he just wanted to give his guys a chance to catch their breath saying listen we're right there. Let's make a push right here. Put some pressure on them. Let's come out swinging. Kevin? Parker's checked in for Richard Lewis. Knight, that's a two-pointer. Yep, right through the net. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Chicago trails by three and slam dunk by Noel. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Yeah, and in a close game, though, guys, those could be really important points. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passes. Outside for Carter Williams. Here's Jackson. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Jackson's got it all tied up now for Chicago. Knight against Jackson. Outside Knight. He kicks to Morris. Lock at six. Chicago grabs the miss. Noel's got his fifth rebound in this one. They've been strong on the boards. There's no disputing that. Oh, my God! But still, anybody's game. Went for the two-hander on that uh. slam. That's where the weight room Damn. comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Hey, I think he's sensing that this is a... Jesus. God critical damn. Jesus. In the game, fellas. Phoenix calls timeout. You gotta like what Sean Kemp has done in this game. He just continues to light him up. They're gonna have to find a way to make him work harder for his point. Wade, he's checked in for Chicago. 
Moore as a screen. Hide on the wing. Wade is covering. Wunzo kicks it to Tuck. Chandler with the screen on Noel. Just five to shoot. Here's Tucker. Kemp with the rebound. Kemp's got his fifth rebound in this one. Wade outside. Noel down low. Chandler on him. Tries from 10. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got his third rebound tonight. Here's Knight. Watch oh. for three. Chicago grabs a miss. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Carter Williams kicks to Wade. Money! Watch out. D. Wade is caught five. He's in the... Shit. Lord. Lord. He's rolling the well. Phoenix calls timeout. They're behind by four. 59 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Nails it, and he has brought them to within two points. They don't get any bigger than that basket. They needed it, Greg, and he gave it to them. Wade outside. Noel sets a screen for Wade. Off the pick. I like the fact that he led his team to the spot. You don't always throw it to your team. You throw it to where he needs to be. Morris right side. And that shot brings them to within just one. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Carter Williams kicks to Kemp. Six second difference between shot and game. Play. Kevin, they still got a foul to give at this point. Yeah, the strategy would be bad to use it if they need to. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What do you think, guys? And there's still time left, so they don't necessarily have to go for the three. A quick, easy bucket inside will do. Well, I think the clock's a little short here for that. I mean, I'm not quite sold on the quick two. I think they've got to look for a quality three to try to tie this thing up based on where the clock is right now. Phoenix calls timeout. They're losing by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. left in the fourth in the corner it's Morris here's Tucker and it comes off the yeah. and it's Wade penetrating yes. really just continuing to increase the lead this one should be easy for the rest of the way yeah and you know Greg at this late stage a lead like that has a team really feeling quite good about itself and deservedly so and so it's Chicago winning this one 
They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But Clark, in the end, everyone satisfied. Yeah, you know, it looked like hey. for a moment there, the outcome was yeah, kill him, that Give shit, him a lot of for hanging tough, persevering, and finishing strong. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark, Craig, and Doris, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our Jordan player of the game, Sean Kemp. Yeah. No. Uh huh. Yeah. Y'all stay tuned for the next broadcast. I gotta put my lunch in there. game number 19 right